Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 3. Just got a whole bunch of details announced. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and Jazzwares just sent out an email. They sent it out yesterday, but I was busy working on my Nintendo World video footage. But I didn't get a chance to really look until today. And I'm seeing that Series 3 of Micro Galaxy Squadron is pretty much here. You might be thinking the same as me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. My stores barely have Series 2. I know, it's a whole distribution thing that's going to vary city to city. Some places are already getting too like crazy. Here, some of the Series 2 showed up here in Las Vegas. Some of the Series 2 stuff showed up in some stores, but most stores still have old Series 1 stock. And so here we are talking Series 3, but we're going to look at images, we're going to see some of the reveals, and uh, we'll look at it on Amazon too, because some of them are already on Amazon, which means affiliate links down below. All right, let's start by looking at the photos they sent over yesterday, and take a look. New mystery boxes. Those are Series 3 mystery boxes. The packaging on them looks very similar to the Series 1 mystery box. Do I have one here? I do have one here. It just, it, just right off the bat, the color scheme just looks so similar where series two was more orangey looking more geonosis this looks it's just a bit different and let's take a look at what's um what is inside these boxes here there's a little list they sent there we go so what do we got here we've got i'm seeing the first order trooper it looks like well is it a regular storm okay let's start top left let's just start up there that looks to be a speeder bike with is that Rom Coda? No, that's a Tuscan Raider. That is a Tuscan Raider from Book of Boba Fett on a speeder bike. Um, let's go clockwise. So next to that in the top middle, that looks to be First Order. That's a First Order Stormtrooper, right? On one of the uh, Rise of Skywalker little dirt bike thingies from They Can Fly Now. I think it's from that. Uh, next up, we got Tech on the top right corner. Now it looks like Tech, right, from the Bad Batch on a little bark speeder, I'm guessing. Something like that. Next up, Cad Bane. Nice. Very nice. I like that. That's really cool. Uh, on the bottom, looks like a Stormtrooper on some kind of like a floating gun, almost like an E-Web Blaster, but not. Um, maybe it is an E-Web Blaster. I don't know. And then in the bottom middle, oh, that's from Solo. Hey, speaking of which, I got a Solo shirt on today. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. I never wear this shirt. But yeah, you can actually see that same kind of speeder just outside Sabi's workshop at Galaxy's Edge. Just painted different. And then on the bottom left, that looks to be a snow trooper with the snow speeder. And then the left middle is Count Dooku on his speeder bike. That's a pretty good set. I don't think any of those are the chases. I don't think we know what the chases are yet. All right. What do we have as far as regular vehicles? Uh, first order TIE fighter. We're getting into sequel territory. So you got a first order TIE pilot and the black first order TIE fighter. Now, it doesn't look... I, I know, I'm trying to tell here. Is it a different sculpt or not? I can't quite tell. But let's see. Is it? Okay, that does. See the antenna? See the antenna sticking up above? It looks like A, it's a different paint scheme. And B, it is a completely new sculpt. They didn't just like try to pass it off and just do the original one with a black paint job. That is a whole fresh sculpt. I like seeing that. That's good. Uh, next. Oh, more sequel. More sequel stuff. Poe Dameron's. T-70 X-Wing. I like seeing that. I like that they've got the black one. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, this, we get a close-up of that. A little and you get BB-8. You get Pilot Poe and BB-8. Okay. All right. Oh, and the, there's a variant. No, so they didn't let me know if this is rare or not. I couldn't tell. Um, it looks like it's just a repaint, reskin maybe, of the same one. But you get BB-8 again. But this time it's Poe Dameron in his regular just jacket, and that's pretty cool that it comes with that. Uh, next up, we've got Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Interceptor. Okay, that looks pretty cool. You get Anakin, you get R2, and we've seen the Interceptor already. I believe Yoda came with one in Series 2. I didn't end up picking that up because it, I didn't, it didn't speak to me. Uh, oh, look, there's a close -up. For some reason, it's a transparent PNG, so we can make it fly across the screen. <laughs> what? What? All right, next up, we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Interceptor. So same thing, repaint, this time with the Jedi Obi-Wan. And I don't know if that's the same figure we've already seen of Obi-Wan. But don't we have a Jedi Obi-Wan already in this series? Pretty sure we do. And the droid, of course, is going to be a repaint. Uh, there's some close-ups of it. I believe we have that 
Obi-Wan already in something else. I want to say his Jedi Starfighter. Uh, speaking of Jedi Starfighters, there we go. Oh, look at this. A uh, rare, one of 15,000, Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. Now, I take this to mean that it's not like one in 15,000 pieces. You're going to find one. It's one of 15,000 that were made. So they made 15,000 of these things. And yours is just one of those 15,000 they made, is the way I've always taken that. Um, which makes it seem a little less rare when you think about how many retail stores there are, like Targets and Walmarts in each town. That's enough for each store to get, like, at least one, at least two in some cases. Um, but also Amazon ends up getting stuff, too. So while they are rare, I think some stores get a bunch and some stores get none. And people just swoop them all up when they're, when they're chases, which I don't love. And it's honestly turned me off the line a little bit. Like, I really want the Sabine TIE Fighter from Series 2, but I can't just find it. I can't just buy it. And that kind of stinks. Kind of stinks. Uh, but there's a close-up of Plo Koon. So this one really is more about the figure. Because the droids are repaint, the vehicles are repaint, but the Plo Koon is unique, and I like that. I don't like that that's the only reason to get that one, but I like they made a new figure. Um, same thing here. Ayla Sakura's Jedi Interceptor. Okay, we're back to the Interceptor. This is another rare one of 15,000. It's Ayla Sakura in her blue fancy little thing. But that's a new sculpt. That's a new sculpt. All right, there's another little close-up there. Next up, we've got General Grievous's Starfighter. This is all new. This is a cool chase figure. You get a Grievous, which is pretty rad on its own. And you get... Micro Gal so you get the rare one of like his whole thing, all of it, his whole Starfighter. What's the name of that thing? I can't even think of what the name of it is. What is that? Alright, next up. Oh, there's a close-up of it. That's a pretty good size, too. Looks like a pretty good size. Um, next up, the V-Wing Starfighter. Okay, all new stuff here. Well, the droids probably repaint. The pilot, I don't know. I'm guessing that's gonna be a new a new sculpt on the pilot. But this is not a chase, this is just a regular Starfighter class or whatever. And here's a little close-up of that. That looks cool. I don't know that I need it. I don't know that I need it. Uh, this is interesting. This is going to be one of the bigger ones. I'm guessing it's going to be about the $30 mark. Uh, Inquisitor Transport Scythe. Scythe. I don't know how you want to say that. Uh, but there, you get three Inquisitors. You get Reva, Main Inquisitor, Grand Inquisitor, and one of those Brudders. And it looks cool. It looks a little plain, honestly. But it looks cool. That one I probably will end up picking up. And the Republic Gunship Munalist 10. So this bums me out a little bit because I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my my duplicate here. I have and I bought one of those Target Battle Pack ones. You can kind of see it here. It's a different paint job and it's got a bunch of clones with it. And I got it just because I was like, well, I should get at least one. I never reviewed it. But I should get at least one of those special paint jobs because there's three that they released. And they're only available at Targets. And they're the same ship, just repainted again, but with different paint jobs. There's different little, like, markings on the side. And I got one of them, and I was like, well, that one's kind of cool. I'll get that. Because it was different enough from the regular release of the Republic gunship. So it's, this is what, the fifth? This is the fifth variant on that same vehicle? A lot of repaints. I don't love seeing the same thing over and over. I get it. And I actually want this one, the Munalis 10. I want that, but yeah, I don't know that I need it. I don't know that I need it. It looks good, but I already have two gunships that I'm not even that super into opening yet. I've had them for a while, and I haven't opened them yet. All right, we're getting to the end of the new releases here, and then we'll look at them on Amazon where there's a couple more photos. Um, Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Starfighter. Again, a reskin of Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, but this time with an Anakin figure, and I'm pretty sure we have that same Anakin figure as one of the chases in Series 2 blind boxes. So, okay. And then here is another look. It just, yeah, we have that. I have that figure. Actually, I actually have him right here. I got him right here. He's he's this little dude. He comes with that. It's basically the same figure with a different paint job. Oh, and I lost him. And I knocked him over. But maybe, here, you guys can take a look there. That's him. That is basically the same one. Either way. Either way. That's cool and all, but let's let's take a look at what um, what old Amazon has to show for us here. 
All right, Amazon, what do we got going on? This is the gunship. Now, a lot of these, I'm gonna have every single one of these that I have, only eight of them, I've got links for. So they will be down in the video description and in a pinned comment, I'll put links to these. But notice it says temporarily out of stock. These showed up yesterday afternoon and they went quick. So they will be back. Temporarily is the keyword. So bookmark these links that I've got or come back to this video, use my affiliate links, it helps me out, doesn't cost you anything extra. But I do want to look at some of these other photos because they've got some other angles here. Look at that. There are some other angles. Oh, yeah. Let's look at some close ups here. The de So look at those details on top. That looks good. That looks really good. Here's some details on the front. Okay. Okay. Kind of cuts off some of it. That's fine. There we go. It's a little better. A little better. All right. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I like that, like, I want this one. I want this one. I would pay the 30 bucks for that one. Uh, next up, we've got, okay, here, let's get some more pictures of this. Of this thingy thing thing. Okay, it's cutting them off a little bit on my screen, but that's fine. We'll zoom out a smidge. There we go, it's a little better. And, okay, some more pictures there. Some more angles, you can see how they sit on the inside. Or stand, rather, on the inside. Again, this one's kind of meh. I like what the wings do here, though. Adjustable wings. Okay, I'm into that. I'm into that. Uh, this one is twenty nine eighty eight. Like I said, probably thirty bucks. It looks like if you order it now, it'll be here in the next couple days, like within the week. So that's really awesome. I may have to just jump on that and do it. I didn't realize that was coming out so quick. The first order Tie Fighter. Look at that. And it comes with the blind box mystery box from Series Three. Hmm. This was probably 20 bucks. That seems to be the going price for the, the combo, which is a steal. Because these boxes, they sell them for like seven, eight bucks now for just the mini box. So to get both for 20 is a really good deal. So I would say, like bookmark that one. Uh, next up, we've got Anakin and his uh, Jedi Starfighter. Okay, let's um, see what we got here. Comes with the ring. I don't know off the top of my head if it's a different sculpt. It looks like the exact same sculpt as the Obi-Wan, but with a different paint job, which is fine. It just doesn't excite me, especially if I already have an Anakin figure. But this is a good way to get the Anakin figure if you didn't pull the Series 2 chase from the blind boxes. Uh, next up, oh, see, this is the one I want. But again, this one's currently unavailable. I don't know if it ever was, but look at it. Look at it. I want Poe's X-Wing. I want Poe's X-Wing and him as a pilot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What okay? What it, it just it looks good, it looks good. I like the packaging. Poe sits in the cockpit. Very simple. I've always kind of been a fan of Poe and his X-wing, so this one speaks to me. I don't care how you feel about sequels. I like them. Oh, you know what I noticed though? They don't have a link for the blue one. Here's white one with the blue on it. Uh, here's the V-wing. Yeah, let's take a look at the V-wing. Okay, a little closer look at the packaging there. There it is, floating. All right. This ain't bad. It's not bad. I don't know that I need it. Also currently unavailable. That's probably going to be like 16 or 19 bucks. And I've got two more. This one I purchased already. I purchased this today. I per I had to. I had to. It was 20 bucks, 1988 or 1999, sorry. Can't read. Um and it comes with a blind box and a ship. Those are a good deal. I can't pass those up when they're available. So I can't wait to see what blind box I end up getting. Uh, last time I pulled two rares like right off the bat. So I was really stoked on that. And yeah, there we go. Another little little Bebe Anakin. Order that one. I would say, guys, jump on that right away. Oh, speaking of another one I jumped on was Obi-Wan. So I, ha I have the Obi-Wan. I want to know if it's the same one. But I don't have any of these uh, Interceptors. So this will be my first Interceptor that I will own. Because I didn't buy the Yoda one. And yeah, there you go. There it is. Take a look. And you get a blind box. So I'll be getting two of these blind boxes and two new ships for sure. I'll probably jump on the Inquisitor ship. But guys, I want to know how you feel about this. I want to know your thoughts on Series 3 Micro Galaxy Squadron. Are you stoked for any of these? Are you bummed that there's a lot of repaints? I am a little bit, but at least you get new figures. It's just confusing to me because when the line came out, they were like, no, it's a vehicle first line. It's not about the figures, it's about the vehicles. But I think the audience, the people who collect them, are pretty stoked on the figures. We are. They're good figures. They're actually really detailed. There's some people over on Instagram who, like, 
wash them and repaint them, and they bring out those details really well. Uh, and speaking of Instagram, make sure you're following Micro Galaxy Squadron over on Instagram. They're really up on this news a lot faster than I am. And so if you want to be quick on that, check them out. But you guys know the deal. My affiliate links are listed down below. Always appreciate you guys using them to buy anything, not just the stuff I'm talking about in the video. But if you use those Amazon links for anything, it definitely goes a long way to help the channel. It keeps these videos going and it literally keeps the lights on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Channel members, I love you the most. And until next time, don't be a move milker. Be the spark.